Yo, what's good everyone? This is AEO Boxing from Adiba, and here's my post fight review for Fernando Martinez vs. Jay Bernea. And this was a good ass fight. Outside of Stephen Fulton, Fernando Martinez is my favorite fighter at the lower weight classes due to his style. And I was unfamiliar with Jay Bernea before this fight, but I've always heard good things about him in the Filipino boxing community, so I knew this fight was going to be a good fight. I predicted that Martinez was going to win by stoppage, however, the fight played out differently than what I expected. Martinez is an aggressive pressure fighter. He's explosive and awkward and he throws a lot of power punches. He's Argentinian and has a similar style to Marcos Maidana. I was expecting him to overwhelm Bornea just like what he did in the Jaron Akaz fight. However, that didn't happen because Bornea fought a very disciplined fight and stuck to a strategy. Instead of fighting toe to toe and being aggressive like most Filipino fighters, Bornea would utilize his reach to maintain distance and fight at his range. Martinez does his best work at close to inside range, but Bornea's jab and footwork made it hard for Martinez to consistently close the distance. Bornea's southpaw jab caused punch traffic, making it hard for Martinez to bypass, and whenever Martinez would explode to close the distance, Bornea would step out of range, forcing Martinez to reset, but also maintain Bornea's range. Bornea's jab also allowed him to score points instead of combinations mainly straight punch combinations that were effective. The jab also gave Bernier opportunities to counter punch Martinez, which was also effective, especially with the right hook and the left hand. This strategy would tame Martinez and not allow him to apply constant pressure and throw a lot of punches like he usually does. However, Martinez was still able to find success in being aggressive. He would often explode with leaping left hooks that would close the distance and therefore give him opportunities to land at close range and on the inside. Martinez also did a very good job at counterpunching Bornea as well. Martinez would often counterpunch Bornea's jab with the right hand, and whenever Bornea got too aggressive, Martinez would make him pay with left hooks and right hands. Martinez would also take advantage of the angles throughout the fight, stepping on the weak side of the southpaw stance, which then allowed him to land and close the distance. This fight was pretty much a close back and forth fight with neither fighter taking the full momentum but this fight would all change in the ninth round when Martinez landed a left hook that exploded the right ear of Bornea and this would have an effect on Bornea immediately. It looked like Bornea's equilibrium was messed up because he became very defensive and he was not throwing punches. Martinez would take full advantage of the situation and went on the attack throwing a lot of heavy power punches that would stun and hurt Bornea several times in the ninth round. Bornea would try to come back in the 10th, but Martinez began to overwhelm Bornea, and the fight would eventually get stopped in the 11th. Bornea was getting hit with a lot of clean punches, and he wasn't responding well, and Martinez was targeting the ear of Bornea. The referees did warn the corner that they might stop the fight due to the ear, and it was a good thing that they stopped the fight when they did because Martinez was really gonna fuck him up if the fight continued. It was a good, entertaining fight. Shout out to Bornea for putting on a tough fight, hopefully he can recover soon because I would like to see him in the ring again and I think he deserves more opportunities. And shout out to Martinez, he won his toughest fight to date and defended his belt like a champion. And it looks like his next move is to unify the belts at 115. Juan Estrada is the WBC champion, Kazuta Ayoka is the WBA champion and Junto Nakatani is the WBO champion. Even though Martinez is associated with the PBC and Showtime, He's promoted by Marcos Maidana, so I'm assuming that crossing the street to fight on different networks or promotions shouldn't be an issue. I believe he can beat Estrada and Ioka, but I think Nakatani has the style and skills to beat Martinez. If Martinez had trouble dealing with the southpaw jab of Bornea, then imagine what Nakatani would do. But who knows, this is boxing, anything can happen. But thank you for tuning in with AO Boxing from Adiba. Hit like and subscribe, and more content's coming your way.